Hello, in this work you will learn how to analyze solutions by spectrophotometry. First, let's introduce some useful theoretical notions. When passing through transparent substances, the light intensity decreases as it is absorbed by that substance. The physical quantity that quantifies the light absorption is called absorbance. In the case of polychromatic light, different colors are being absorbed differently, depending on the composition of that substance. Thus, each transparent solution has a specific absorption spectrum, described as the variation of absorption with light's wavelength. The absorption spectrum shape depends on the nature of the solution, while the value of absorption is directly proportional with its concentration. Spectrophotometry is the scientific method for obtaining absorption spectra of substances, aiming to determine their chemical composition. The spectrophotometric method is widely used in medicine to identify clinical compounds and measure their concentration, to measure the speed of some biochemical reactions, and many others. Using this method, multiple biochemical compounds from human serums can be identified, such as transaminases, creatinine, urea, ions, glucose, protein, hemoglobin, and so on. Spectrophotometry is also employed to measure, in vivo and non-invasive, the concentration of oxygenated and reduced hemoglobin through a specific method called pulse oximetry. In the first part of this work, you will determine the absorption spectrum of copper sulfate dissolved in water. In the second part, you will determine the unknown concentration of a copper sulfate solution by the spectrophotometric method. For this, you will use a spectrophotometer two solutions of copper sulfate, one of known concentration 2% and the other of unknown concentration, distilled water, measuring cuvettes, Berzelius glass, glass bottle for mixing solutions, a grided pipette and paper tissues. For starting, connect the spectrophotometer to the power outlet. Remove any remaining cuvettes from the measuring compartment and close the lid. Turn on the spectrophotometer by pressing the button on its back panel. After approximately 5 minutes, when the display shows a fixed value of the wavelength, the spectrophotometer is initialized. In the first part of the experiment, you will obtain the absorption spectrum of copper sulfate within the 2% solution. For that, you will measure its absorbance in the 400 to 700 nanometer wavelength range. Select the absorbance working mode using the ATC button. Set the desired wavelength using the following steps. Press the lambda button. Type the value of wavelength. For this experiment, the first determination will be at 400 nanometers. Press the Enter button and wait until the desired value is shown on display. Attention! Before starting any measurements, wash the cuvettes with distilled water and wipe the excess water off their outer surfaces using a paper tissue. Handle the cuvettes in such a way that you don't touch the surfaces traversed by light. The cuvettes have two parallel transparent surfaces and two with striations. Always grab the cuvettes by the superior side of the striated faces. Fill a cuvette with pure solvent, which, in this case, is distilled water up to about 1 cm from its top edge. In the same way, Fill another cuvette with the 2% studied solution. Open the lid of the spectrophotometer and place in the sample holder the cuvette containing the pure solvent. 
Attention! The white line marks the direction of the light through the sample. Place the cuvette in such a way that the light passes through its transparent sides. Press the blank button. The display should show the value of 0, 0.000 for the absorbance of distilled water at that wavelength. Replace the distilled water filled cuvette with the one containing the studied solution. Close the spectrophotometer lid and read the copper sulfate absorbance value from the display. Write down the value in the corresponding table. Set the following wavelength. In your case, that's 420 nanometers. Repeat the aforementioned steps and measure the absorbance of copper sulfate at this wavelength. Record the obtained value in the table. Repeat all the steps and measure the absorbance of copper sulfate for all the wavelengths in the table. In the second part of the experiment, using the spectrophotometer, you will determine the unknown concentration of a copper sulfate solution. For this, you will use distilled water and the 2% copper sulfate solution as reference. Fill another cuvette with a stock solution of unknown concentration. Set the wavelength for which the copper sulfate absorbance is maximum. Since absorbance is directly proportional to the concentration of a solution, in this case, even a slight change in solution's concentration will visibly change its absorbance. The concentration variation can be more difficult or impossible to observe at wavelengths where the absorbance is low. For this demonstration, Let's consider a maximum absorbance at 700 nanometers. Using the ATC button, select the working mode of concentration as a function of standards and press enter. In this moment, the spectrophotometer enters in a calibration protocol for the concentration measurements. Place the 2% solution in the sample holder of the spectrophotometer. Type the concentration value of this solution, 2.000, and press Enter. Replace the cuvette with the one containing distilled water and press the blank button. Place again the 2% standard solution in the spectrophotometer and press Enter. Once again, replace it with the cuvette containing distilled water and press the blank button. In this moment, the calibration of the spectrophotometer in the concentration mode is finished. The display should show the 0 0.000 value corresponding to the concentration of copper sulfate in distilled water. Finally, place in the sample holder the cuvette containing the stock solution and read its concentration shown on display. Attention! Keep the spectrophotometer in this working mode until the end of this experiment. Also, don't cast the two solutions. Pour them back in their containers. In the following, using stock solution and distilled water, prepare dilutions of copper sulfate solutions of concentration 1, 2.7, 4.2 and 5%. Pour the solutions in two Berzelius glass. Calculate the amounts that must be mixed using the rectangle method as follows. Draw a rectangle. Next to its two left corners, write the concentrations of the two starting solutions. In this case, you are using solutions of 0% distilled water 
and 9% stock solution. Draw the two diagonals of the rectangle. Where the diagonals meet, write the concentration of the solution you wish to prepare. Let's use 5%. Subtract the values written along each diagonal and write the results in the right corners of the rectangle. Thus, results how many parts of each solution must be mixed in order to obtain the solution of desired concentration. In this case, considering one part being equal to 1 ml, you will mix 4 ml of distilled water with 5 ml of stock solution. Using a graded pipette, measure the volumes of the two solutions and mix them in a bottle. Using the same pipette, transfer the prepared dilution into a cuvette, which you will then place into the spectrophotometer. Read the concentration value shown on the display and write it in the second table. Repeat the steps to prepare the other three dilutions. Determine their concentrations and fill the remaining values in the table. Attention! After measurements, cast all the prepared dilutions in the sink. Once the experiment is finished, rinse with distilled water all the recipients used and turn off the spectrophotometer. Finally, represent graphically the variation of absorbance with the wavelength.